Okay, classroom. I know that I'm not here today, and Miss White is covering for me. And like we've talked about the last two days, I'm going to be looking for some great artwork and some wonderful behavior. And I'm going to review what I'm looking for today and tomorrow. And if you finish early, just make sure your name is on your work before it's turned in because it will be graded on Monday. Both are portfolio projects. Let's review. A few days ago, we were working on the screen. And we drew it in pencil, then went over it and shaded in, and then added black marker. And some of you were extremely creative with your Edward Munch screams. They were incredible, from being clothing designers to adding cool-looking boats in the background. Lots of lines, lots of shading, thick and thin. Your drawings were really coming out great. If you haven't finished them, you can definitely finish them today. The other project that we were working on, which I want you to first tackle today before you work on the screen, are the abstract curve designs, the optical illusions. And let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these. Here's a real simplest, simple looking one where the lines are very vertical, but they go up and down and they're thick and thin areas. And remember I would talked about how you can actually bend the lines to make it look like it's bending down like a knee or an elbow. And I have a demonstration to show you that. And here was another design that some of my students did in the past where they chose like a green theme with some red in it. Be careful, don't use too many colors in this um, curved abstract design. I uh, try to keep it with just a few colors shading from dark to light on the sides. And let me zoom in, in here so you can see on the sides where it's very dark and at the center it's light creates that shine which makes it look three-dimensional like it's popping out. Okay? Now, um, the colored pencils are on one table. Do not take them to another table. Uh, just grab two or three and sharpen them at the pencil sharpeners over by the wall. Make sure the trash can is underneath so the shavings go in the trash can. And then sit down and, and work quietly. Do not get up and wander around. Remember, we'll be using clay on Monday. I want to get a good report. I don't want to hear that students were playing around. I want to hear that you were on task and working hard so that we can get working on clay and everybody can participate. If you finish early on these two main projects, you can always um, study for a test that you have coming up in another class, but sit quietly and do not get out of your seat and wander around. The paper, extra paper, is at the paper cutter. If you need some paper, Miss White can fold it and cut it for you. Just ask her and she will get it for you. Let's review how we did the drawing. and Let's look at this image right here. It's going to go pretty fast, so you better look and watch. Um, we're just going to double up the lines, and then we start to make those curved lines. And let me back up just a little bit here. So first of all, you're just going to get it almost looks like just a bunch of wavy lines but then we're slowly going to start to curve the lines and where we want it to look like it's bending and going in or out we change the direction of the lines once your paper is filled then you can go ahead and start to color in and shade in stay with simple color themes don't use too many colors because it will it won't look as interesting, visually interesting, as if you just stay with two or three colors. You're going to be shading again from the sides, keeping the center 
kind of light. And these, of course, show it as a better example because they're done with actual colored pencil. Think about patterns. Think about thick and thin lines. Make sure you allow for five minutes, Miss White, for cleanup at least, collecting pencil, pencils and erasers. If you need more materials, you can go in the storage room um, and get them. Um, don't hesitate to call me if you need me for anything. Again, like I said, I want good report. Um, all your work is in the folders. Put your name on everything. And let's see two beautiful projects. So on Monday, I should see two projects with your name on them. One of the scream in a very creative way, in your own way. And then one with the curved abstract optical illusion design. I can't wait to see both of these. Work hard and always put your name on your work. Otherwise, you can't get credit. Let's get a good report, help clean up, be helpful, be a leader. And then we'll do clay starting next week. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.